Hey, what's up everybody? Thomas here, and you may notice that a couple things here. One, most obvious, is that I'm in a different setup. Um, you're probably thinking, oh my god, he's moved. No, no, this is this is the same room, just everything's rearranged, and new desk, uh, bulletin board, everything. My bed's over there now, it's the opposite of where my setup used to be, but I'll talk about that on another video, which will be coming soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, another thing you might be noticing is that the picture quality and how I everything looks. Yeah? Well, I have recently installed CineStyle into my camera. So, and that's one thing I want to talk about today. And just right off the bat, I love it. I couldn't believe it. Um, uh, as you can see, um, it, everything looks cinematic and, uh, you know, the colors more flatter for better room and color correcting. Um, it, it's just, I, <laughs> my only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. Um, I was first turned on, turned over by this, by Film Riot. Uh, you know, they were talking about it. And uh, at first I wasn't too impressed. You know, it's a firmware, because I know of other firmwares like Magic Lantern and things like that. Um, and I've really been, just been kind of like iffy. I'm like, oh, well, what if things doesn't work? What if my camera stopped working? Um, but then uh, Ryan did it and uh, installed uh, CineStyle in his 60D. So, um, yeah, and he says, you know, I saw the images that were coming out of his camera. So I thought, okay, why not do it? Uh, actually, it took me a couple months after he did it to do it, for me to do it myself. Um, I don't know. It just, I could never get it to... Um, I never could figure out how to install it until a couple days ago, um, but, you know, I did, I got it, I'm, I got it, so that's the important thing. So, uh, I want to ask you guys, how, how does everything look? So, uh, everything, I know, you know, there isn't really much to say, you know, there's these monitors, and then there's one light over there, uh, two lights, two house lights in front of me, um, but in order to really, um, understand how this works, let's do some color correcting tests. Um, in this footage I, sh footage I shot yesterday of some friends at FCTV having some fun with lightsabers, um, you know, I had my T3i with the 50mm f1.8 lens on it, and uh, we shot some stuff in low light and even some stuff in the dark, so, uh, you know, we can't do much in the way of color correcting in the dark, but let's see what we can do in low light. Here's this clip of my friends Riley and Jacob fighting in the control room. Here's the original shot, and here's the color corrected shot. As you can see, there are tons of room to color correct here. Now for color correcting, I mainly use Adobe Premiere, but uh, you can also color correct in After Effects, which may be a bit more convenient, because, you know, especially if you're doing effects and you don't have to jump between back and forth between programs like I do. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm loving Cita Style. I can't wait to use it for upcoming films, which you've got a lot coming, um, which I will talk about in another video coming uh, shortly after this one, maybe. Yeah, that's about it. Make sure to like the Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and subscribe to the Thunderbolt Vlogs YouTube channel, and as well as this one if you're not already. That's it. See ya.